Hi guys, today I want to make this pretty cross with you and if you hear some background ground noises, well, neighbors are mowing their lawns, farmers behind the house are putting uh, whatever they need to do on their fields, so I'm already sorry if you hear some background noises. Um, I closed most of the doors and it's really hot in here, but okay. We'll just make this video and stop complaining. Um, this is like a, an Art Deco cross. Uh, you, you need some uh, double-sided adhesive. You'll need some Ava beads, uh, some Tango beads, and uh, I'll have the whole material list underneath the video for you. So let's get started. We're going to start with craw, and that would be our three millimeter pearls, and of course some thread and some beeswax to make sure that that thread is safe because we're going to pass through the seed beads several times. I'm going to take about three meters of thread. I don't remember exactly how much I used. Uh, I am using, however, the, the uh, Berkeley's fire line, so it's nice and thin. And what I also use is beeswax to run my thread through there. And if I remember correctly, all these uh, items were made with regular fire line 0 0.06 because I can't expect when you make a book that people are gonna buy Berkeley's fire line fishing line so it should be okay if you do it with a uh, regular fire line I'm just going to use what I got and we're going to start with four pearls to begin with, and I'm going to run that down my thread, put these out of the camera frame, zoom me in a little bit more, I'm going to double tie a knot, And I'm going to go through all these again because we're going to start with adding the Ava bead. And the Ava bead is kind of heavy, so we're going to go through all these again. Three. And basically, what we're go uh, you need to strengthen it every time you do the side with the Ava beads. So that's on all corner uh, on all ends of your cross. Four. And I'm going to work away a little bit from the end tail. Five. Okay, now we're going to pick up a 15 0 seed bead and we're just only going to use 15 0 seed beads for this project. Just go into the Ava bead. Next we need a tango bead and you need the short side. So you gotta look at your beads, which is the long side. That's the long side where you pass through and that's the short side. And we need the short side. So we can turn it around and pass through that short side. Going to add three 15 0 seed beads and then we're going to pass through the long side and into the Ava. Now we're going to do the loop right away. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and we're going to pass through the Ava bead again. And make sure that, that those seed beads stay on top and not in between that tango bead because that needs to close up snug. I'm going to go up two seed beads. I'm going to go add one more seed bead, go down again.
back into the Ava. Now go up three seed beads. And add five seed beads to your needle. I'm going to go back around and then through that loop several times. For me, that would be like I like to do that three times. And this loop will need uh, another jump ring for. Um, putting a chain on there so going around three times last two through the middle and if you use regular um, Beadsmith uh, fire line, then you only have to do this twice. All these projects that I make with the Art Deco uh, should be usable for fire line. I haven't tested all of them, but uh, I kept that in mind when I made these patterns that you're able to pass through with regular fire line also. So now we need the long side again on the top. So you gotta look. That's long side. Make sure that you turn that around. Then you need to add three seed beads. And I'm gonna go into the short side of the tango into the Ava now we're going to add another 15 0 seed bead and make sure that you go into that pearl on the other side where the seed bead already is and that you don't by accident twist it Okay, just turn it around so we can work forwards. Go into the next pearl. And to see what's what, I got another uh, color of 15 of seed beads, in this case coal gold. And I'm going to pick up one gold, three bronze and one gold. I didn't want to do five bronze because I'm afraid that I'm going to go into the wrong bronze. So I'm going to go back in there. Move into the next pearl. I'm going to work that end tail away in a minute. As soon as we finish that first uh, topping. Now you need a piece of double-sided adhesive, small square piece. Pull that top off. Put it on your pearls. And get the other side off. Put that chain on there. Now make sure that your thread is underneath your chain. Just hold your finger on that first cup. And don't worry about the thread until we're going to work that away in a minute. As soon as we get this whole one, this whole cup uh, covered. So we're going to pick up one gold, three bronze, going through the gold and into the pearl. Okay. 
I'm going to pick up that next pearl. I'm going to pick up the gold, one gold, three bronze. Pick up the gold into the pearl. Next pearl, and we're going to go up in the gold that's already there. Add three bronze into the gold, back into the pearl. Okay, now we're going to go and close that up in a minute, but first go into that bronze seed bead, the Ava bead, and we're gonna go around all of these beads again just to make sure that that pearl is really tight to the Ava and the Tangos. Because it, it, this is going to be heavy and it's gonna be pulling on that Ava. So up the three into the tango and the Ava and the tango and you can already see that there's tension on there pull that tight down to three seat beads into the tango And if you can go into the Ava straight away, that would be nice, but that's not always the case. So, get pick up the Ava and the bronze seat bead behind it and into that pearl. Pull it tight. Now make sure that everything is pulled tight. Keep the tension on there so that you don't see any thread here or here. I'm going to go up the gold and now we're going to close up the top one picking up the three bronzes two Four. And a fifth time to close it all off where you started. I'm gonna go now take care of that end till up the gold. into the pearl double knot and if you pull that tight then that tension up there should be good too with the working thread you're gonna go into the pearl Just go around and just pull that knot in that pearl over there. And picking up the bottom pearl. Okay, this end tail will go into the middle pearl as soon as we do the next 
round and then you're done with that one. So pick up three pearls into the pearl make sure you stay on top of that chain go up the gold Two needle, three bronze, one gold. Back into the pearl and up into gold. And move forward into the middle bronze. Down into gold. into the pearl one gold three bronze down into gold and into the pearl picking up the less pearl and going up into the gold add three bronze to your needle into the gold, into the bronze, uh, into the pearl, and up into the gold. And now we're going to go around this way so that you make sure that you're coming out on the this side so you can add your new pearls. One. Two, three, four, and five. into the gold and into the pearl now first take care of that end tilt which is really really annoying I'm going to use another needle for that because I'm too lazy to get my needle off the other one and I'm just going to push that in the middle and my tummy is growling I think I need some food so I'm going to cut that off or zip that off actually don't need to cut anymore, we got a zipper there and I'm going to take a quick break to have a breakfast actually I haven't eaten yet. Totally forgot. See you back in a minute. Okay. Now we're going to do the next one. One, two, three pearls. Into the pearl. Try not to get your thread under this the chain easier said than done and up the gold again three bronze one gold
and back into the pearl and up the gold. Throw the three browns down in the gold. Into the pearl. Pick up a gold and three browns down in the previous gold and into the pearl. into the pearl and into the gold and add three browns to your needle into the gold, the pearl and up in the gold Three bronze going around five times. Four and five. Now I want to do the sides first and then work my way down, down in gold. Into the pearl on the side. Add three pearls. into the pearl one gold three bronze into that gold and back into the pearl move the needle forward I'm going to add two pieces so that means you also need two pieces of adhesive because you gotta uh, attach them both get that top off Put that two piece on there. Add the needle one gold and three bronze into the gold, into the pearl. Into the pearl up in the gold and three bronze down into the gold the pearl and up in the gold now move into a different direction because if you're going to go into this one it's going to be hard to end up here so we're going to go into this side one, two, three, four, 
five into the gold into the pearl at three pearls to your needle move forward into the pearl add one gold three bronze into the gold and the pearl add that last piece underneath it into the pearl one gold three bronze into the gold and into the pearl Next pearl up in the gold and three browns gold pearl gold. and close that up and we're gonna go this way because I want to come out here to add the Ava one two three and five into the pearl uh, gold into the pearl at one seat bead bronze into the Ava short side of the tango three bronze long side of the tango into the Ava long side of the Ava, uh, long side of the tango
three browns. Short side of the tango and into the Ava. Make sure that that's all tight together. I'm going to go around in there again. But you got to make sure that that's all tight. One bronze. Now go around again in the pro, the bronze, to make sure that that's really tight. Into the tango and the three browns. Tango, Ava, Tango. Three browns. Ava Bronze Pearl and I'm gonna move to the other side and we're just going to zigzag there And on this side, we're going again with the three pearls and just repeat what you did on the other side. So pause me now until you get the other side done. Okay, now when you're coming out of the pearl again, after you went around three to, uh, two times uh, in the top, you need to follow the beaded path and come out here. So you can start adding the three pearls again. So zigzag. and in here and then add the three pearls again And you're going to continue it from here. And then you're going to add your last Ava beads on this side. And I suggest you pause me until you get that done. So when you did your last one, I'm going to come up in the gold. And 